All right, LeBron, the last time somebody scored 50 points in consecutive home games was Kobe here in 2007. You said in the Golden State game that you just desperately needed a win. Uh, what got into you tonight, especially in that second half? Uh, we just need to pick our energy up and a little bit get more detailed about how we wanted to attack the Wizards. Um, and we did that, especially in the third quarter. Uh, you know, we missed a lot of chippies, but we kept fighting, we kept defending, and I was able to uh, hit a hot streak at one point. Again, 17 at the half. You got 12 in a row at a certain point in the third quarter. What is the feeling when you get in that mode and shots are falling? What's going through the head? What's going through the arm? Just try to stay in there as, as long as you can. Uh, uh, I don't know if you remember the game uh, um, uh, where they used to say, uh, he's on fire, NBA Jam. Of course. You know, and if you take a, sometimes you might want to take a bad shot and it, it'll get you out of that hot streak. So I just try to stay in that zone as long as possible. And uh, I was able to I was able to hit a couple. Notice that your mom is here and she got to come over and got a hug within the game. Uh, that's always got to be an extra little bonus, right? Doing it in front of mom. Uh, she's my biggest supporter, my biggest inspiration. And my biggest love and uh, you know to have her be able to witness uh, my career and uh, all the sacrifices that she did for me growing up for me to be at this point in my life and her to be able to see it I just try to always give back to her in any way shape form and fashion so you know the fact that she was here tonight was a, was a treat for me. Last one for you, LeBron. It's been touch a tough season. Uh, these fans continue to come out. It, you started to ex uh, kind of experience that with them. It seemed like these last two games, uh, how important is that to you? I mean, this is a Laker faithful. They know when you're playing bad basketball, and they know when you're playing good basketball. And it's our job to go out and play inspired basketball and play good basketball for these fans that seen so many great games, so many great performances, and so many greats over the years. So, you know, I hold that with, with a lot of uh, responsibility on my shoulders. Uh, and in my heart. All right, if you're still on fire NBA jam-wise, maybe go put the arm in ice. All right, cool it down a little bit.